Good morning, guys. It is December the 4th. It's Vlogmas 4. Yay! It's only 20 days left for Christmas. I so want to get my Christmas tree up. I'm hoping to get it up soon. Mm. Mm. I also need to get a tree skirt because I don't have one. I never had. So that is going to be exciting uh, one day. We'll see when that will happen. However, today all I have planned is like work because it's Friday. I need to head into the office and start working. However, I thought I'd start off this vlog with one of the questions. Uh, if you hadn't seen it, I, uh, I asked for your questions throughout Vlogmas so that I can sit answer any questions that you have whatever it is about um and we can can talk about it uh if you have any questions for me to to share in my vlogs just put them in the description down below and i take one each day and yesterday i ended uh the day um talking about uh my English <laughs> when I when I learned English and so on so today I thought I start off with a question from Rebecca and she I'm looking down because I have my mobile up on the with the questions um she asked what count I'm stitching on uh for all my heads I actually stitch on 25 count and I stitch over one thread so the stitches are one millimeter big <laughs> they're really really teeny tiny yes um all of the girls are stitched on 25 count and i have the fabric cut down for the rest of the girls uh i haven't surged it yet so i have to surge the, the um fabric and then i also gonna sleeve them into plastic sleeve and put labels on them so that i know that i have the fabric uh because i have another four ladies to go so uh, it's this little lady, uh, Sloth, she's the third in the series, and there's a total of seven, so yeah. But yeah, I'm, I stitch on 25 count. Uh, I do stitch on other counts when I stitch other things. Uh, right now I have a uh, little um, stitch up on one of my frames mm. that is stitched on 32 count. Uh, I prefer 32 16 count. I prefer even weave over either. So I usually replace any fabric that comes in kits with even weave if there is either, because either can be so stiff and hard to your hands. So I, I prefer to do it on even weave. But yeah, that's a little bit about me and, and what kind of stitches I need. I like to stitch um, but I'm gonna head in so good morning guys I hope you have an awesome day hi guys it is like late uh, and I haven't vlogged all day I haven't even edited the vlog from yesterday I'm sorry but I ended up having a very long work day and then I got an email <laughs> which said hey this um, Zelda game has just come out and um, it kind of was promoted as a sequel or a prequel to um, the previous Switch Zelda game so I kind of thought that it was like the previous Zelda game it wasn't in any shape or form it was still fun I've been playing it for like the whole evening. Um, it was, it's fun, but it's not at all what I was expecting. Uh, so I, I don't know, I don't know. I have slight bias remorse. I do have that because I was expecting to get the last Zelda game, but another version not this but anyhow um i can play it anyhow i can play it anyhow so uh, i've been playing with it uh for maybe like two hours i'm starting to get really really tired so 
so yeah it's been one of those days when i i was really productive at work i was really doing stuff at work and then when i turned down i looked at the computer i'm like i can't sit here anymore i can't do the edit usually i try to edit during lunchtime or something like that but i didn't really have time today or i needed to rest a little bit more than i've been doing for so yeah no there, there will be two vlogmas tomorrow that's that's just how it is but yeah i love video games uh i i think i've talked about it before i don't game that much anymore because i have all of the other things that i want to do and time is a commodity and you have to choose what you want to do and what you're gonna do and it's a little bit a little bit sad that you don't have all the time in the world mm. however i did get about a uh, two hours of stitching in uh one in the morning uh when i was waking up and one during lunch time because i really needed to get away from the computer during lunch um but i actually got a lot of work done i'm hoping to get a lot more work done uh on monday i have it ideas um also did get the advent of code done today um, I did that before work, so that was also done, which is awesome! Uh, today, what was it today? Um, yeah, it was passports. So, Advent of Code uh, today, Advent of Code number four was... Um, the story was that you came to the airport uh, and realized that you don't have your passport with you. You have only kind of your North Pole... Uh, Santa you're not Santa you're kind of a Santa elf but yeah uh, you, you have that identification but you also realize that the machines that they kind of um, uh, register the passports are actually on the local internet so you can go in and you can hack it a little bit and they were having a lot of issues with uh, people's passports uh, not even though they were valid didn't go through the machine and it was holding up the line so your work was to uh, hack the machine a little bit so it goes a little bit quicker um, basically what what I do what what the kind of solution is that is you are going to get the data in and then you're gonna work with the data and then what you're gonna go out was in this case how many of the passports you were getting in are valid so first you have to do some file magic uh which is every everyone is you have to make some kind of read in the file and then handle the file in some way shape and form and when you have done that you need to process the data in this case you have to check uh, that it had all of these parameters uh, and that went pretty quick and then for number two uh, you do the they kind of just were build upon number one and this time it was that the, the passport guards were a little bit annoyed that there were more passport that came true than they were supposed to so I had to put in regulations for those passports like how many numbers in your uh, birth date or and stuff like that so that was a lot of fun um i had a little bit of a hiccup because it didn't do this i wanted to do however i changed it and then it worked and was no problems so that was good that was really really good um but yeah that is i haven't done that much today we had uh the leftovers yesterday we made another stew so today we had the leftover of the stew for dinner i had a little little uh mug of of mulled wine that is why i have a little bit of a color in my mouth i think like my teeth are a little bit blue tone um it was really really good i shouldn't have it but it was really really good 
and I really really wanted it so I did uh, and then as I said I've been gaming um, Hyrule Warriors I think the game was called that was really interesting but again I think it was a little bit more expensive towards what I actually got it's a, probably a pretty big game um, I was wondering if the game was um, if it was just this um, it feels like it is a portion that they have taken the the previous game and then they have kind of scaled it down and just added story and well they, they have you have like game places that you do stuff so maybe I don't know it, it was it was yeah, but, but I think I have to figure out if I liked it or not um, me and Christopher have actually bought some games and some more controllers to my Switch because we're gonna use them at Christmas. So, yeah. But I think that is why I'm, I've been like, oh, gaming! So, yeah. But I need to go to bed. Uh, I'm not very coherent. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really tired. So, I'm gonna go to sleep and i'll see you tomorrow so good night sleep tight don't let the bad bugs bite bye